I didn't actually intend to make a video about this, but it was something I really wanted to show you. I'm in the greenhouse. Today is a rather rainy day, so a good day for working undercover. I did, wasn't going to make a video because the audio on this sort of rainy day is pretty bad in here. But I really had to show you the soil. Now, this bed was the bed that I originally had my straw bale potatoes on and then I've successfully grown two crops, the first being sweet potatoes and the second broccoli that was with green waste compost simply laid on top without any digging. When I say without any digging that's without any more than just removing the sweet potatoes which were actually on the surface so I haven't actually dug deeply into this bed at all since it was actually made and as I'm digging and planting I've got eggplant here and capsicums going in that I'm really excited by the texture of the soil underneath and how soft it is simply because the soil life the worms and so on have actually kept it friable and really made it nice so I'm going to plant this and show you what it's like in here as I actually put these plants in. It's so nice that you can easily do it with a hand tool. There's no difficulty, even though these are in pots, so you're digging a little bit. And so going in, it's soft, easy digging. It comes out nicely. Now you'll see down the bottom here that there's the red uh, soil it was the original soil but there's a nice layer of compost on top and it's just so loose it's really great it's not extremely wet I haven't watered it for probably for 10 days or so because I knew that I was going to pull the broccoli out and put this in and these just plant back really easily and really nice now a little bit about what I'm planting here for the benefit of those people that live in a similar climate to what we have here in Tasmania. Some people in Tasmania are able to grow capsicums and eggplant outdoors quite successfully and I think if I found exactly the right spot I probably could do it too but the season would be a little bit shorter so by growing it here in the greenhouse I extend the season and Look, I'm planting now, it's still quite late, it's uh, you know, a week away from the end of spring, so almost summer. I bought these when they were little tiny plants, like these eggplants were just three to a small punnet. And I have potted them on, and that's allowed them to grow a lot further. They are pretty much the last thing that I plant. And it's a bit of a marginal thing here in Tassie growing these, but particularly the eggplants, I find that what sort of crop you get off those is a bit questionable depends on the season if it's hot or not but I still like to grow these these um, capsicums are actually a longer type they're not the, the bell peppers but a, a long one and a sweet one I do have one chili here there will be some heat for us and I'll probably get another one and put in this corner but they crop quite well in the greenhouse here and I think the main rule to follow here in Tasmania is that you don't want to put these outdoors early. You put them outdoors early because they're such heat loving plants you're going to run into trouble. And also you know when you buy them as those small plants do pop them on. You've raised them from seed that's even better. But do pop them on and let them grow. These are almost to the point of flowering and it's a good time to get them out of the pots and into the ground and we'll look forward to a nice crop. While these water in, I'll take you for a little tour around the greenhouse here and show you what else is happening because you've seen in previous videos some of the other things that have been planted in here, so a little progress. The straw bale tomatoes this year haven't really been doing so well. I found that they've been slow to take off. Some like this one particularly have been a little bit yellow, showing a little bit low in nitrogen. So I've just added some extra blood and bone to them and watered that in and hopefully that'll get them going but cucumbers are starting to move and from now on they should really start to take off this straw bale has a lot of uh, grass coming up in it 
which is not very exciting a bit annoying uh, with straw you expect to have less grass you would expect this if it was hay or something like that but there seems to be a lot of grass seed in it and I've had this problem before uh, with my sauce they obviously have a lot of grass growing in their wheat but you just keep pulling it out after removing the potatoes from this bed I added some compost and planted out the watermelon plants that had been in tubes and started inside and they are starting to grow they are still very young uh, but they're moving a little bit more in advance of the ones that are outdoors so we'll see how that goes this bed which I had planted with lettuce uh, and other things across winter the winter lettuce is now going to seed and it is really quite high as you'll see I've pulled out most of it but just left a few to come to seed to keep it upright I've had to stake it because it gets very heavy on top and wants to fall over otherwise down below there is new parsley which is self-seeded from a previous year and has come up nicely and so I've just left it and in the back here you'll see there is parsley which is going up to seed and flowering so that'll continue the cycle and there are a couple of tomato plants in here these are just some odd ones that were left over or also some that were given so that you've got to find somewhere to put them but they will provide some extra tomatoes and be nice